All right, let's go to Jeff in New Jersey. Hi, Jeff. What is the recommended weekly chemical maintenance for an in-ground vinyl liner pool, including shock, algicide, phosphory, perfect weekly, et cetera? Yep. All right, so a, a vinyl liner pool. Mm -hmm. um, when I say this, I do get some, some, some feedback. Are you sure? And, and yeah, I'm pretty sure on this one. If you have a vinyl liner pool, we would also like you to use less lease tabs to put you on the algae free guarantee. But here we don't want you to float tabs in your pool in a floater. Uh, that floating tablet tap feeder could nestle itself next to your wall mm -hmm. and begin to bleach out or wrinkle that vinyl liner. But we still want you to use the best tablets out there on the market. So here you're going to get an offline chlorinator, an inline chlorinator, and that lives up at your equipment pad, and that's where it'll do the dissolving. But uh, that's what I would recommend it is our Leslie's tablets. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, the next thing we recommend is a product we call Chlorbrite, which is also a very strong chlorine. It's got 55% available chlorine, uh, but it was really formulated for these special vessel pools, mm -hmm. fiberglass, vinyl, above ground pools. Uh, so I would recommend that. I would also recommend that you would use Chlorbrite uh, as your weekly shock mm -hmm. and that you would also have fresh and clear on hand as your weekly shock. And then all pools, all pools have this in common. So continue your regiment with this as well. Hopefully that answered your question. Uh, we're also gonna make sure that you uh, see us twice a month so that we can take care of pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness issues. Uh, if you are using Chlorbrite or tablets, we certainly wanna watch your cyanuric acid levels mm -hmm. or your conditional levels if they get to a point where uh, they're too high and causing some interference with your chlorine or, or your alkalinity. These are things that high levels of conditioner can do, uh, then we do have a product called Bioactive that we can recommend to lower those back into safer, more efficient levels. Yeah, and all these uh, different particular outcomes that, that Jim just talked about, they're gonna be tested for whenever you bring your water sample into a store. So it's an outstanding, more reinforcement to keep coming in just twice a month, get that water tested, and they will know if there is an issue, which there really shouldn't be. It's more of a, reinforce, a reinforcement of just doing everything right. But if there is an issue where your cyanuric acid level is creeping up, they can remedy it and catch it before it's a major issue. So, Also, I want to make a point out, too, we, we generally recommend, too, when it comes to pH reducers and alkalinity reducers, that we stick with the dry acid mm -hmm. uh, versus a muriatic acid. So I, I didn't want to uh, uh, forget that as well. And, and as a reminder, all of our customers who take advantage of our less lease tabs, or our Chlorbrite, uh, those products are called stabilized chlorine, which means they contain the conditioner of the cyanuric acid. They're protecting themselves from the sun's UV rays. But if you are using those, we would like to see your water twice a month so that we can do that very important cyanuric acid test mm -hmm. and recommend when we need to lower those or encourage you to have maybe a cannonball contest to naturally splash out that water. Right. Or maybe this would be the time where you backwash your pool just a little bit longer because what we're trying to do is a dilution solution. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a great question. Thank you. Take the next one. 